So when you're new to a city as a new entrepreneur, uh, there's going to be a lot of things just wear you down throughout your week. And once in a while, you got to find a way to de-stress, whether it be through meditation, using an app at home, or... various uh, wellness experts that really kind of, I mean, cleanse your entire body, whether it be through meditation, uh, yoga, uh, knowing how to eat properly, sleep, and even biohacking. So I'm really excited to be uh, on this uh, amazing retreat with just 20 people, it's very intimate, and I'm gonna be learning kind of every single angle, of little things you can do every day uh, to come back to the world as your best self. All right, so I'm really excited to have you here. Uh, we have a so wellness. Nice to be here. Um, that's excellent. We have a wellness retreat tomorrow. And uh, look, for the few people who don't know you out there, please tell the world what you do and how that relates to wellness retreats and uh, this awesome trend of health. Absolutely. So, hi everyone. My name is Oksana Andrea Kaur, Canadian biohacker on social media. Um, I am all about biohacking and optimizing your health. So, what is biohacking? It's taking control of your internal and external environments to uh, optimize your own biology and how you feel on a daily basis. So get to your personal time, whatever that personal time may be for you. So functional health is what I have Amazing. I, I took a look at your website and I, did I see something around red light therapy? Yes, that is one of my that? favorite biohacks right now. <laughs> I do it on a daily basis as part of my morning routine. Okay. Two minutes every morning while I meditate, I stand in front of a red light therapy lamp. Wow. Um, and you know, people wonder what light really is and how it affects us, but right. essentially, you know, we live in an artificial light environment where we actually don't get all that much sunlight at all. Ninety percent of our time is spent right. indoors. And so we don't get those beneficial sunrise, sunset, sun rays that affect our circadian rhythm. And yeah. our circadian rhythm regulates all our biological functions and how our body works every day. And so mm -hmm. if we're not getting that regulation, you know, a lot of things start getting a little bit out of whack. So um, red light therapy, it affects, you know, inflammation, it affects your muscle recovery. Um, it's great for training as well. So people who um, practice red light therapy and then they go work out, they actually see better gains in muscle no way. after red light therapy. No way. Yeah, you sleep better as well. Um, oh, you have it on while you're sleeping kind of thing or from before? No. So How do you dose it? Can you say dose? <laughs> do we dose? Do we microdose yeah, yeah, red well, light therapy? So I do it in the morning and actually doing red light therapy in the morning, it increases your melatonin production throughout the day. So melatonin okay. is what helps us feel sleepy at the end yes. of the day yeah. um, and helps us go to sleep at night. And so if you're getting a lot of blue light or artificial light, it actually suppresses your melatonin production. So when we're you know, scrolling through social media on our devices at night or watching TV and or screen time. just screen time, but also just light bulbs around us, right. LED lights, all of that blocks our melatonin production. Yeah. And so, you know, if you're not able to block blue light, supplementing with the red light can help, you know, just increase, boost up the amount of melatonin that you produce and that helps with sleep as well. So, wow. So it's a, it's a lot of factors. I mean, it's sleep, weight regulation, hormonal regulation, inflammation, yeah. muscle recovery, muscle gain, like, it is such an amazing tool. Meditation, you've got mindfulness. I started trying the Alexander Technique, kind of you know, about the Alexander Technique. It's, it's a, kind of a, a cool kind of offshoot to yoga. But there's so many of these things finally started creating a bit I of a love wave. It. Yeah. Why hasn't this come up? And and how do you like is this not, do I have to buy some fancy like tanning bed for this esque <laughs> thing? Like I feel like hearing about that, my like, god, oh, it's probably some 
fancy big light that's gonna take up space in my house. Please defunct that. What, how do we get started? There are a few companies. I mean, make sure that you're going for a reputable company, that you're not just getting a company that's putting a red light on an LED light. You okay. need actual red light wavelengths, um, as well as infrared light wa wavelengths. So you're looking for that. Um, the panels, they're different sizes depending on the brand that you choose. I have a full body one <laughs> because I'm just intense like that. I'm, like, I'm gonna buy the biggest one there is. Um, but you can get a like small half stack or yeah. just half your body or just kind of like your face too. It's great for skin as well, like anti-aging. It's amazing. You boost your collagen production as well with the red light. So yeah. great for that. Or you can get small lamps for just like targeted therapy if you have like joint inflammation or pain or muscle pain. It's, it's great for targeted therapy like that. Um, but I would probably recommend going for a larger panel because the more exposure that your body gets, the better, right? Like your cells are kind of like soaking up that red light. 400, 500 for a mid-sized panel. Wow. And then it starts going up from there. I mean, Jube Light were the first ones on the market. Um, their panels are really expensive. I mean, they go up to $8,000. Wow. Um, so that was a little bit out of my budget range. So Fair um, now it's great. You have more movers on the market with new brands coming out. There's Gemba Red. There's Red Light Rising. So I personally use a Red Light Rising. Okay. Um, they're a UK based company. Uh, so you have more brands coming out. So more options, which is great. But I would be careful with just going on Amazon and typing something in. Right. Because you, you know you need to be sure where they're sourcing the red lights. Um, if they're actually quality wavelengths that you want. Um, how do you check that? Do you just like, how do you, how do you know if it's quality? I guess price is one thing, but. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, going with a regular company with a good customer service line okay. where they list all the specs of their lights as well. I mean, you can buy devices to measure it, but you know, right. it's a regular real company. Sure. Um, you can, you know, trust that if you're not just buying off of Amazon or eBay or something yeah, like that. Um, but yeah, I know, um, knowing which wavelengths and, and seeing that they're the legit ones, like that. Cool. There's the nutrition aspect, exercise, sleep, and mind, so meditation, things like that. Um, you know, in order to, they're all interlinked. They're all working together, so you can't be, you know, not getting enough sleep, but eating really well. How's that? That's going to throw you off for sure. Right. Um, sleep affects, you know, everything. Um, I, I would say that that's like the foundation of anything. So once you start getting those four things right, you know, you want to start looking at quantifying your biology and your data. And yeah, what do you do? Doing that? genetic testing, doing detailed blood panels, maybe like once a year to just see how, you know, how your health is changing based on how you exercise, sleep, what you eat, if you're changing anything in your diet. Um, and then you start optimizing from there, you know, you find those gaps where, you know, you can be generally a healthy person, but if you find you're predisposed to something, uh, in particular that could affect your health later on, well, you know, if you're predisposed to it, that's one thing, but your environment affects so much more of that, you know, so genetic predisposition doesn't mean that you're actually going to develop something down the line if you take those preliminary steps to address it before something actually happens. And so it's like having that awareness and that knowledge so you can, you can start taking those types of actions without waiting until something bad happens and then it's too late to go back. So that's what it's all about, is just taking more control of your own biology and how you're feeling every day and how you're going to feel down the line. So increasing your health span and your lifespan. No and kidding. Goal. Again, tell people where we can kind of follow you and check out your material. So my social media is Canadian Biohacker, Instagram and Facebook. Um, that's where I share all my content. I share about my own experiences with some of these products that I'm trying out all the time or just personal challenges that I have that I do for myself for biohacking. Um, You're the guinea pig. People just I'm the through. guinea pig and then I share it all out. And uh, you can reach out to me there. I'm happy to chat, answer any questions. I love this stuff. So my name is Brian Hardy, and I'm a nutritionist and wellness coach, and I essentially help people to mitigate stress and recover from life, from injury, from you know trauma, whatever the thing is. We're all dealing with 
what I see as a recovery issue because the gut is everything. Right, yeah, I saw that on your website. You're like specialized on the gut. I mean, there's so yeah. many uh, so many wellness coaches out there. People, you know, are a little bit inundated and they don't always kind of see the tangible benefits. So I guess the more specific you are, the better. I mean, you're, you're, it seems like the gut's kind of your niche. So I'd love to hear more about that. When we're not breathing properly, mm. good luck digesting your food. Mm. Good luck thinking clearly and creatively. Right. And solving whatever you know, problems are based on. Mm-hmm. So you're saying there's like a tie between, first of all, your gut and your mind? Definitely. And Huge the, connection. And starting, first of all, I got to start fixing my gut so that my mind is at its best. And is that is that through breathing? Is that through my diet? Like what's the way that people can really work on their gut specifically? Yeah, so it's through all those things. Okay. And breath is always the first thing. Okay. Right? So meditation That's is, what we have. Is, yeah, what we have I mean, okay. anything. Literally, you can just be taking five deep breaths before a meal. Okay. Right? That simple. Okay. It's like 30 seconds or less. Okay. And if you don't change anything else but that thing, you should notice some subjective improvement, hmm. both in your ability to digest the meal and in your ability to just feel calm and grounded and actually in your body, right? right. Because then aside from t- uh, taking some time to really relax a little bit before you eat, right. get yourself out of the stress response and into the rest and digest uh, hmm. side of your nervous system. Right. From there, then you look at, okay, the hydration. Are they drinking enough water? Right? Right. Most of us don't drink enough water. You want to front load your day with that, yeah. right? You don't want to be waking up all night peeing. That's a right. problem a lot of people have. They're like, oh, drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, all the way until bed, and then their sleep is compromised. Like, although we might feel like we have to be busy, 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 mm-hmm. you actually be more productive if you take breaks. Right. You actually be more productive if you pull away Shut your brain off for 10 minutes, go outside, do some jumping jacks, you know, get some sunshine in your face, yeah. get some fresh air. All of those things that you can do a couple times a day, they don't take a lot of time, they're free. Um, those are going to give you more bang for your buck. You know, I see a lot of people buying these really amazing, you know, organic or healthy meals and they scarf it down. Right. And, you know, forgetting that there's no teeth in our stomachs. Right. And unless you break it down and masticate, you're not going to get a lot of the benefit. Oh, really? Right? You actually have less nutrients if you don't chew your food, chew it, chew it enough. Yes. Proteins and fats, yeah. you can break those down. Right. Fiber and like vegetables, some of the things that have the more mineral and yeah. vitamin content, huh. um, that's not going to get broken down. Food is going to more of a state of personalization. So instead of one size fits all, you know, do the keto diet, do the vegan diet. Yeah, the, the keto diet, diet, I've heard so many things about it. Tim it can Ferriss be great. Is crazy about that. It can be great. Yeah. I, I use it a lot and teach it a lot and I've uh-huh. written a book about it. So oh, I mean, wow. It's, What's it's, your book it's, called, it's by the way? It's a fantastic diet. It's just the ketogenic diet lifestyle. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, it, it can be a fantastic tool. Right. Particularly in the wintertime in a Canadian northern climate. Okay. Right? There's a whole seasonal component to that yeah so it can be a good diet but it's not for everyone and it's not sustainable for everyone and it's not you know just eat zero carbs and eat butter and bacon and call it a day right right so it's about personalization it's about seeing someone's genetics seeing someone's blood work seeing someone's hormones seeing their stress response you know doing getting a lot of data Mm. about the individual so we can customize something for them right it's not just a here you go do this it might work for you right not I think that's where it's going. And outside of that, it's, I think, connecting to the natural world. Right. Um, and this can go really deep. I've done podcasts about this before. Cool. My friend Yarrow Willard speaks of this. If you look cool. at that episode. Yarrow Willard. Yarrow Willard. Um, he talks about nature deficiency disorder and how that is the root of pretty much all the insanity that is the modern day. It's human history. It's how we lived. When you're living like that, mental illness doesn't really exist, mm-hmm. right? Um, depression, anxiety, those things don't exist in traditional cultures. Mm-hmm. There's a reason for that. And there's a reason, and it makes it very clear as to why they exist today mm-hmm. in the growing epidemic of these things. So, uh, for me, my role that I see within all this is really bridging the cutting edge science. Regenerative healthcare is my focus, right? So using the biohacking tools, whether that's lasers, PEMF devices, mm-hmm. uh, we're using frequency based healing, light sound based healing. All those things to allow people to regenerate their health, mm-hmm. regenerate their tissues, regenerate their organs, which we know is possible, right? Mm-hmm. Science is still catching up to it. 
where mainstream opinion is catching up to it. But we know it's possible. Yeah. Um, and then using that as a bridge to get people back to a sense of integration with nature. Right? So for me, within five years, I want to be essentially part-time or full-time living or working in the countryside right. most of the time. I want to have a center set up with this technology mm -hmm. that can host people sure. who are like depleted, burnt out, or you know, we're dealing with cancers or heart disease or some sort of serious issue. Yeah. It's woken up to the fact that, oh my God, I have to change something. All right. And we'll have a center, we'll happily receive these people mm -hmm. and start them on the path of reconnecting. Sure. So, and this is happening all over the world. You know, right. I see the whole the, the retreat trend is fantastic. Right. It's growing. The wellness vacations instead of like, you know, getting away to, you know, drink yourself into a stupor. That's going away. So people are getting it, right? And if they don't get it, something will wake them up to get it. Yes. Whether it's a disease or right. a diagnosis or just some sort of health challenge, it's, it's gonna come. And ideally they can be preemptive with it. And to be preemptive, I'm sure they wanna maybe check out more of your materials or where can people find you? Yeah, so everything that I do pretty much is uh, brianhardy.ca is the URL, brianhardy7 on Instagram, and it's nice. brian with a Y. And uh, my podcast is called Redefining Reality. Okay, amazing. That's where I sit down and interview people and talk in depth about all these things. Yeah, and today we, we kind of turned the tables, but thanks for being a great yeah. host, Brian. Awesome to meet you. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good today. So Kiki, I'm excited to learn about uh, all the things that you do. And for, for the few people out there that don't know who you are, can there you tell them what you do? No <laughs> <laughs> um, so my name is Kiki and I run a company called Me by Kiki. Okay. It started with um, as a blog, Mindfully Exponential, and um, it soon pivoted into a lifestyle and product brand. And okay. the product that I'm going to be launching is mm. an adaptogen-based product. Um, not giving away too many details just yet, okay. but um, my background's in holistic uh, nutrition and working with uh, startups in the tech space, and okay. um, wow. one of the things that I found most helpful for myself and for the women that I coach and that, um, the, the sort of topics that I blog about has been adaptogens. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a little spiel on me. I love it. Well, I'm super curious. What is an adaptogen and how does that help people come back to the city in their at, at their best self? Because for the meal retreat, yep. right, we're leaving for a little bit, we're re-energizing, and we're coming back. So how does that fit into coming back at your best? Absolutely, perfectly. So okay. adaptogens are their non-toxic herbs that protect the body from the impact of stressors, whether it's physical, chemical, biological. So in in your case, you know, for your um, for your market, whether they're stressed out mentally because they have you know a really annoying boss or you know they have to really push it in mental capacity, or whether it's physical exertion, they're training, they're athletes, adaptogens boost your resilience. I, I have both of those. <laughs> so Perfect. I'm just saying. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so basically think of it like you have reserves, like a bank of adaptive energy. And when you yeah. take adaptogens, you're building that up so that your stress response can be stronger. And that means that you know your blood sugar is going to be better regulated, your weight, uh, your blood pressure, your immune system. They go in and they have a bi-directional effect in the body. So if you need to be lifted up, that's what they'll do. If you need to be brought down, that's what they'll do. So if they're literally magic and there's, there's no reason why people shouldn't be taking that. Yes, so they are becoming a lot more mainstream now. So a lot of restaurants and cafes, you can kind of add adaptions into your smoothies. Really? Like, can you add some adaptogens? I can, I can tell them. Okay. Here. Wow, I've never done um, on the menu. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, but if you want to use them more therapeutically, and yeah. so let's say you have, you know, I'm training for this particular marathon, I really want right. something to boost my endurance, um, you can either research online or work with a certified herbalist, a TCM practitioner, so a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, right. or a naturopathic doctor. In terms of actually finding um, these herbs and what form they're in, you can get them as tinctures, as capsules, as powders. Um, it really depends on what's most conducive to your lifestyle. Um, I found the powders uh, to be easiest to work with. I actually okay. just created a cookbook, okay. uh, cooking with adaptogens, so yeah. that you can learn how to incorporate them um, into your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oftentimes we think about throwing maca or shaga into our latte or into right. our, our smoothie, but you know you can actually use holy basil in a soup and use lion's mane you know, in a stir fry. And 
really incorporate them into your everyday so that yeah. they're enjoyable and they're accessible. And um, actually, that free ebook is on my website. It's okay. free. So, yeah, uh, well, what can we find you on your website? What's your uh, website? So, my website is Me by Kiki. Okay. And uh, yeah, and the ebook, I just launched it this week. So, it's very exciting. Amazing. And it's got 16 cooking with adaptogen uh, recipes. Okay, that's fantastic. And so, let's talk about, like, just to end off the trend of health and wellness under this context, right? Yeah. Especially with the retreat, there's meditation, adaptogens. We just talked about um, people's gut, right? Like, yeah. and there's so many different angles to it. So where is this whole wellness trend going? And um, how are you going to be a part of the next few years? Let's talk about, like, where is this really going? I'm going to take it over. No. No. I, I, we'd like to see that. Exactly. Hopefully this video is going to be a, a small part of that. Yeah. Exactly. So where is it all going? Uh, you know what? I think that we're really, of course, mindfulness is becoming more mainstream right. and we're really accepting the fact that it's the power of the mind, the body, the soul, and they all work together. Right. And I think what we're going to, in the next five years, as wellness becomes a little bit more progressive, I think that we're going to be a lot more accepting to these different healing modalities. Right. Not so, you know, oh, you know, have a green smoothie, be fit, or like, you know, go for a right. run and be healthy, but it's like, like not only um, meditation and mindfulness meditation, but opening up to um, you know crystal therapies and chakra balancing and you know sound therapy and stuff that was kind of left off as very woo woo right. and even adaptogens because it doesn't um, there's there's not a lot there is actually a lot of scientific evidence but not a lot of sure. it is in uh, English a lot of it's in oh, um, no way. Chinese or translation Indian. problems the exactly. last thing we need. exactly <laughs> and so. Um, so I think that we're just going to open up to these right. different healing modalities because at the end of the day, we all just want to be happy and well. And that's not always a tangible thing. That's not always success in a career or you know an amount of money. Right. It's the feeling of wellness that you can't really put your finger on. And no, I'm sure. really excited for all of the different ways that we can we can continue to experience these things and, and the different offerings that are going to become more available and more accessible. Okay, so I'm here with uh, the founder of uh, Neo Retreat and a uh, good buddy of his and mine, Sammy. Uh, guys, highlights so far of this retreat? Oh, I'll go first. I actually like the uh, adaptogens lecture. I'm just really happy and pleased to see people take it and time out for themselves to retreat from the pressures of the city to, to rebalance themselves mm. and seeing the, uh, the personal moments people are having. You can see the body language and the, mm. and the faces and that's that's super rewarding. So bringing together a collective of mm -hmm. uh, wellness experts to facilitate that has been uh, really, really kind of moving for me to see happen. Cheers, guys. How are we feeling? Fantastic. Amazing. From today, I'm definitely going to practice my balance because I think I can do better at that. <laughs> yeah, balance on one leg nice. every morning. Um, I'm going to start using my Instant Pot that I bought two years ago and mm. has been unboxed for two years. <laughs> right. Kiki was gonna, pushing that hard. Yeah, yeah. Make some adaptogenic broths in my Instant Pot. That sounds just super tasty as well. Yeah, I, I thought that was like, like powerful. Especially well, I the, lost feeling of like my arms, oh, yeah. legs, like my, yeah. No, for sure. It felt like you were just connecting with everything around yeah. you. It was insane. You're magnetizing to everything yeah. and, then, and then you're floating up and you're just like in like just a different state. I think I think people are too much in the same state all the time. Yeah. Hence the whole point of this workshop. People are like... Explore different states. Yeah, people are just like in a grind. Yeah. It's just constant yeah. inertia. So when you get to that part, when you're not in inertia, like that's when you make change. Yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll check in in a month and see what happens. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being a part of yesterday. Thank you for being a part of today. Yeah, my pleasure. Look at this. Two Paul from Neil. From Neil. That's beautiful. Paul from you. Yeah. Paul, 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 Paul. 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 That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic job, yeah. yeah. This is the the beginning of something big to come. We're the founders of it. Yeah. We're like the we're here. founders. So. Yeah. To wellness in Toronto. There you go. NBO. To wellness. To wellness. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I mean, if you could take just one of those uh, health hacks and incorporate it into your life, I'd love to hear about which, your, which is your favorite one. If you can pick a favorite, 
leave in the comments below. And look, if you have a friend who could also benefit from making their life just a little bit more efficient, a little bit healthier, especially uh, if they're an entrepreneur that's new into a city, just pass this over to them. And don't forget to subscribe as always. And be well, sleep well, and I'll see you the next time.